Ooh, don't get hit. All right, don't use your stamina. Don't get hit. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. And we are hanging out today. Doing stuff and things, fighting a troll, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you think you got what it takes, troll? Okay, ladies, you guys, welcome back to some more hot Valheim action. Brought to you by Slip Gator and trolls everywhere. Oh my God. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video and trolls, don't forget to show your support. Ouch. And hit the thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, subscribe for more. We can't take another hit from a troll. Almost out of stamina. We totally got this. It's no big whoop. We got one or two more hits and we got this guy. Where are you at? Yeah, you think you can get it? That's what I'm talking about. Burn to death. Are you burning to death? Why aren't you burning to death? I'm almost out of arrows. Oh, I ran out of fire arrows. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Trophy uh, something. Dude, that goes by so fast. Troll hide cape. Troll hide leather. How much leather do we get? Five. All right. You guys, welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Having a lot of fun in this game. And I thought I'd bring you in as I was hanging out here. Doing a little bit of gathering. What did I just get there? Coal and some flint. Uh, yeah, just hanging out, doing some gathering. Uh, coming over to where I was getting a lot of tin. I already did a little bit this morning getting some other stuff and things. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and make a marker right here. And I'm going to call that a tin marker. Uh, because I've already gathered tin all the way up this coast of the Black Forest. And then I came around here and started coming down. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing to start off with. All right, so what did I do today so far? Well, first and foremost, oh, I guess we got to kind of go that direction for right now. All right, let's get out our stuff and things. Let's go like that. All right, so basically all I did was just uh, spend about an hour and a half gathering up some copper. Uh, this stuff uh, in early game especially, really tough to get um, just as far as time goes. Like, you can find the copper, but it takes a while to mine it. So I've just been kind of... Oh, is this another copper deposit right here? I already know about that one, bud. Um... So yeah, I've been spending some time doing that. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and pop over here to show you this. Because if you're new, a lot of you guys maybe know that uh, you've been watching other people play this game or whatever. Uh, or been hanging out in our streams. But just FYI, copper goes quite a ways underground. So this is copper deposit down over here. This is copper deposits down over here as well. And so, there's a lot of it. Make sure you just don't dig on the surface. And the thing that's really the most confusing is that when you dig out the copper deposit, there is dirt inside of it. Which, let's be honest, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, so you dig the copper, and then there's dirt all around it. Like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like an egg of dirt? Dude, egg of dirt is a good name. It's actually a terrible name for a band. I don't think I would go to see a night of egg of dirt. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So we have a lot of copper back at the base. I've been smelting it up. Uh, we came out to get some tin, and we have 24. So that'll be 24 additional bronze that we'll be able to make. Uh, and we're trying to kind of get over the hump here of the bronze age. Uh, so we have a lot of stuff and things. We're still in leather armor. We do have the bronze axe. We do have the bronze shield. But the other thing was, in the last episode, you may remember, I was asking about trying to figure out what was going on with not being able to build the bronze pick. Well, I have, in fact... Am I close to home? Uh, yeah, let's do this. I have, in fact, found uh, what I needed, and that was core wood found from pine trees in the Black Forest. Once you unlock or cut down uh, and collect core wood, it unlocked a bunch of stuff for us. So there's a few things that we've got to go ahead and talk about making, most likely. I think it uh, unlocked a new bow, which, yes, please, a thousand times yes, the bow. Uh, I think it also unlocked the cultivator, which I do believe is for planting seeds. So we're going to be checking that out probably. And I can't even remember what else. Uh, we only have five of this troll stuff and things. So we're going to check that out here right now. Let's pop inside. Let's go ahead and do our repairs. Like so. Let's do this guy over here. So five troll leather. Does that make it so I can make a thing? Uh, this is the thing I want to make the most. The troll hide cape. Uh, we have the leather tunic we can make. We can make this. But I'm feeling like maybe we go right to... Right to... Wait, did I unlock... I think we unlocked bronze armor, right? So here's what I'm thinking. We just go straight to bronze armor. 
and bypass the troll? Because I think that the troll armor... Can we get a, a readout on what we got going on here? Armor 6, and then this guy, armor 8. Uh, there's a difference in movement speed, but I think we should be okay. So we're going to drop that guy inside of there. We got to get a little bit organized over here. Let's go ahead and drop these guys like so. Stone. I don't know if I actually made another spot. No, flint and leathers over here. There's some hot, hot flint action words. Uh, armor, food, that guy right there. The yellow. You and you. And then some stone. Organization is key. And we are going to have to make some more arrows. We got to drop that troll head off right there. All right. Let me get that guy. That looks great. All right. So let's pop over here. Let's go ahead and see. We got a bunch more of those guys. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop that guy like that. That guy like that. Let's pick up all of our copper. How much total? 37. That is not bad at all. Uh, I've been making coal as well. Let's grab a bunch of that. We'll squirt some coal in there. Like so. And then let's go ahead and grab our tin. And we'll get that going inside of there like that. All right. So we have a potential to make, uh, what's 36, what, 19? No, 36, 18, 18. So we have a potential to make 18 bronze, I do believe. But we also unlock some other stuff. Let me take a look here. The fine wood bow. So this says pierce 32. This bow is pierce 28. It's tier three. So, fine wood, core wood, and deer hide. And I think it's 10 of each. Uh, let me see here, actually. Fine wood right there. Let's make 10. Uh, core wood. Let's go ahead and grab 10. And uh, and the, the, the leather deal right there. Oh, my God. We have to fight some deer. We have to kill some deer and get some deer hide. So, fine wood bow. Let's get that guy going. Very, very nice. All right. So, under tools or armor, I guess we don't have a lot of room for stuff. Let's go ahead and just drop the bow inside of there. I said drop the bow inside of there. All right, let's take a look at this guy. What do you got for me here? Ooh, ooh, smexy. Ooh, feels good in the hand. All right, so that's cool. Very cool upgrade to that. Now, uh, we're going to need to make some more fire arrows here. Let me take a look and see. What are we going to need for that? Wood resin and feathers. No problem. We got that. Uh, let's grab some wood. Let's grab some resin from the yellow. Let's grab some feathers from there and then let's go ahead and make a bunch of these guys so uh still using the fire arrows for right now i think that they're pretty good i'm uh i'm gonna make up let's say 80 of these now oh, we can make up a bunch let's make up 100 all right so there's 100 of those guys and we don't need to necessarily carry around these flint arrows anymore do i have flint arrows inside of here anywhere uh, yes, I do. And we yeah, flint and regular wood. All right, so let's pop these guys back inside of here. That goes there, red, yellow, like so. Feathers inside of there. All right, sweet. So how's the tin stuff and things going over here? All right, so there's a little bit of tin, so we can make a little bit of bronze. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just continue to do some smelting, and I will be our bees, peeps. Let's make some bronze. We are very heavy. Uh, but I think we should be able to right now make all the bronze that we're going to need to make all the new bronze armor. So let's go ahead and buy five. Craft up that guy. One of those guys. And one of those guys. 15 bronze, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, deer hide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we need six. Dude, I don't think I have that much. I got five. You got to be kidding me, man. All right. So we're going to have to go do some hunting here in the morning, I do believe. That's a total of 25 bronze right there. We are making a little bit more tin, uh, so we should be able to make a couple more pieces. But right now, I just got to hunt some deer. So what I'm actually doing is just using the wooden arrows. And then let me see here. What do we need in order to make w just regular wooden arrows? I think I want to make a couple more of those guys. It's straight up wood. All right, so let's just grab some of those guys. Let's go ahead and make some more wood arrows. Uh, and there is a way, by the way, in case you didn't know, to select your arrows. It's pretty easy. You just right click. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make uh, that many. We'll drop that guy inside of there. And then you know what else I just noticed? Where's the music? What the crap slip? So you just right click on him, and that's all you got to do. And then that selects the arrows that you're trying to select. Let's go ahead and grab this guy, a brand new bow. Have a little bit of a look around for the deers. I got a couple. Oh, wait, is that guy right there? No, that's a piece of wood. Uh, I got a couple deer uh, last night while I was waiting for some stuff to smelt up. Let me get some leather, and then we'll go ahead and work on that armor. So I heard this was the case, but I didn't know if it was true. This deer, I just spooked it. And someone had told me that if you sneak right around where the deers get spooked, 
they come back. And it looks like this guy did come right back here. So it's not... Whoa, there's a lot of red on the ground right there. That is weird. Is that from the sunrise or something? Um, so there's one right there. Uh, but yeah, it seems to work. It seems like if you spook a deer, if you go into sneak mode and just kind of chill for a second, eventually they'll just come right back to the same spot. Uh, which is kind of amazing because if you didn't know that, man, you've been chasing deer, as I have, quite a bit around in the forest here trying to figure out how to get these guys uh, a little bit more easily, and that really makes it easy. Five more bronze? Give it to me. Bam, he's done it. All right, so what are we going to need in order to make these guys again? It's bronze and deer hide for all three of those guys. We're going to need six deer hide. I went out and got some. Let's go ahead and grab those guys. We will take six of those. We're going to need a total of 15 bronze. Let's grab uh, 10 more of these guys. There we go. We should be good to go to make this new armor. We're kind of bypassing a stage, but I'm fine with that. I haven't got a problem with it. We're not going to go to the troll armor. We're going to go straight to this bronze stuff, like so and like so and like so. All right, let's put uh, this in a different little bit of an order here. So uh, maybe that guy, and then what's that? Leggings down there, and then this guy up there like so. That's our old armor. We can switch that over like that. Can I move while I'm switching? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot armor action. All right. Armor. We got that guy, that guy, that guy. We can squirt inside of there. So there's our leather. There's our original rag stuff. But now we are smexy inside of our bronze. All right. Look at that, man. We got a whole set. I don't think we get any sort of set bonus for this, though. And I think for the other armor, crafted by Tiny, by me, I think for the other armor, if we look, oh, you can already see how much slower we are. Wow. We're way slower. Uh, the troll stuff, if you have the whole set, four parts, makes you more sneaky, 25%. So this guy has a set effect. Um, this guy is way, way slower. That's pretty crazy how slow that is. Let's take a look and see here. Movement speed minus 5%, total minus 10. That's minus 5, that's minus 5. So our total movement speed for the two items is minus 10. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I hate when you get something cool in the game and then it makes it not as good. You know what I mean? That doesn't really make any sense, but it is what it is. We'll be tougher. How much tougher? I really don't know. I don't know if we'll be that much tougher. Uh, we still have... Well, hold on a second here. That's actually... Oh, no, no, we can't do it. That's backwards. We still have 15 bronze. Now, if we take a look inside of here and see, what do we got right now? Our axe is just tier one. Our shield is tier one and all of our armor is tier one. If you want to do upgrades... We're going to have to upgrade the forge as well. So let's take a look at doing that. If we go inside of here and take this guy like that, this is a workbench improvement. That's a workbench improvement. This guy takes three bronze. That guy takes two bronze. That guy takes 10 copper. And those are the three improvements. So five wood and two bronze, I think, is our best bet. Let's go ahead and grab five of this wood right here like that and then i really hate to use my bronze but i think that is our best bet to start with two bronze over here and then we should be able to craft up this bad ombre squirt that down right there ladies and gentlemen now we can upgrade these guys so i kind of feel like i want to upgrade my axe i don't know about my buckler i feel like i don't want to pay, pay attention too much to that we're using the axe with bronze i think when the next stage i think we're going to get into iron and i think we're going to go with a different weapon so for right now Let's go ahead and grab that one leather that we needed right here. Uh, we'll grab all that leather. Let's go ahead and grab all this bronze. Can we carry it all? Oh, yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's take a look here and see. This bronze guy right here, bronze axe. Let's upgrade that guy. All right, so there's our tier two. Now, if we wanted to upgrade this, we would need a tier three. Hmm. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Let's pop over here. I think there was an upgrade in here. That guy takes 10 fine wood. All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and grab... Just happen to have some right over here. Like so and like so. Dude, this thing is huge. Uh, And I cannot place it. Why can't we place it? This says... Oh, that's a workbench upgrade. That's not what we're looking for. We need... Uh, that's 10 copper. All right, so that's workbench, workbench. This is workbench as well. You know what? We might want to go ahead and make this happen. You know, I think I could also place this out here. Mayhaps. That'll work. Let's place that guy right over there. So there's our workbench upgrade. And now the workbench is at tier right there, tier four. So yeah, the fine wood bow. Maybe we got to upgrade that guy next. But we are down to six bronze in order to get the... We could do that. I kind of want to wait and just do my axe. I feel like that's going to be our best bet. 
uh, just do a lot a lot more damage. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the stuff down over here. L wrong, wrong way there, like that. All right, so let's pop over here again and take a look at this bow. The best bow we can make is probably important. Two core wood and two deer hide. Let's go ahead and grab those guys and these guys. Let's talk about this. So I think we might be able to do a couple of upgrades. Fine wood bow tier two. We're going to need 10 more fine wood to get the next upgrade, and we don't have it. So we'll drop those guys back in there, the leather back in there. Looks like we have a clear plan for better stuff. Let's go get some fine wood. Dude, there he goes. There's the deer. He just ran off. I scared his, uh, I killed his wife, uh, and then <laughs> he just ran off, and then now he's back. Dude, that's awesome. I didn't know that that was a thing. That makes that so much easier. Uh, stay on target, Slip. Fine wood. Six bronze left. I do think we are going to upgrade our armor. That's a good use for this stuff. Um, except we really need to make bronze nails, too. You know what? Friggin' screw it. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. Upgrade that guy right there. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy right here. All right, so now instead of eight armor, we got ten. I mean, that's a pretty big upgrade if you're looking at, you know, the numbers are all small, but it's still pretty good. Let's go ahead and eat some food like so. And then let me see here. Oh, yeah, by the way, I doubled up on our storage. Can I eat something else in here? No, we can't. Uh, so I doubled all our storage and move all our signs around. I think actually this chest is a little bit weird. Those guys are compressed for whatever reason. But now we have double the armor, tools, heads, food, seeds, feathers, resin, leather, stone, and wood that we need. Uh, so we should be good to go with all that stuff. Now, uh, next order of business for the game. We have Ichthyr D uh, guy over here. There's that altar. But I don't think there's the elder. So the elder's all the way over there. Now, the only way that we're going to be able to do that is by with a boat. We're going to have to build some sort of a boat. And that's why I think we want to use the bronze nails. Oh, we already got it right here. We already did build some bronze nails. Wait, did I squirt those somewhere? I don't think I remember seeing them around. We have to have some... Ugh. There they are. There's 10. Yeah, that's right. We did make 10 of those in the last episode. All right, so you guys, right here, we need 80, some resin, some stuff and things, and then our Sterling cores. If you want to make these portals, we're going to need some of those guys too. And I don't think we found any. I can't even believe it, but I don't think we found any Sterling cores yet. Stop doing that. Uh, so that means I, I'm pretty sure those guys are in the different crypts and dungeons over in this area right here. So we already checked that cave out and that cave out. Wait, do I seriously not have any Sertling cores? We used them all up. Yeah, we're gonna need more if we want the portal. So, hmm, that means heading out into the Black Forest to do some more of these caves, I think. Uh, that's probably gonna be our best bet, these crypts or caves or whatever. So maybe up inside of this area, we can find something new. What's up, trolly troll? You think you got what it takes? Dude, we did a lot of damage to that guy. Unless you, oh, dude, he throws things. So rude. Okay, we just gotta keep him on fire. Don't get hit. Ooh, don't get hit. All right, don't use your stamina. Don't get hit. Oh my God. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to make the troll cape. Excuse me. Uh, at some point here, we just gotta go ahead and kite this bad boy. Is this copper? No, just in case. Uh, I've done a ton of exploring in the last 40 minutes or so. Oh, that is not good. Ooh, we're close. Um, and I'm having a little bit of trouble finding more black forests. This is not good. So I think we're gonna have to do even more exploring, but I'll show you here in a second. Once I kill this bad hombre, you think you got what it takes, man? Come on, what do you think? Oh yeah, you feeling stunned? Yeah, like that. Should we try to take a hit from this guy? Hold on, let's see here. Yeah! Oh, dude, all my stamina. 100% of all my stamina. Holy crap. All right, maybe we'll just use the bow. Should be going down pretty soon. Feeling uh, a little hot. Oh, geez, seriously, guy? Okay, hold up. We got this. Ready? Right in that. You know, oh, we finishing move. We cut off his ding dong. Look, he's holding his injury. Oh, no. All right, how many we get? Five more. I think that's enough. I think it's 10 that we need in order to make that guy. Uh, the um, the troll hide cape. All right, so check it out. I walked up over in this area here all the way around there. Uh, I didn't check in there, but that's not Black Forest. Basically, this is Black Forest right here. This is Meadows down along this edge. This is all Meadow. All of that is Meadows. So I came down over here to try to find some Black Forest, and this is it. Just from, like, right about there down over into there. So that means, most likely, we've done all the caves that are here. Uh, so we haven't got any more caves in this black forest. I think we've scouted basically the entire area. There's no more copper over here either. 
So in order to get... Oh, is that the other cave? Yeah, see, this is the other cave we already did. So in order to get anything uh, moving forward, uh, i.e. additional circling course, so that we can make the portals, we're going to have to find a wholly different black forest. Um, and I don't have any idea where that would be. Um, it looks like wherever it's going to be, it's going to be really far. I'm going to try to head south over here probably. But before we do that, I think trying to get a little bit more tin and copper so that we are able to, um, oh yeah, we got to head maybe right over that way. Let's go ahead and grab some tin for right now. Some more tin and copper so that we're able to make some more nails so we can make that better boat. I think that's probably going to be on the, uh, on the docket for today. So let me go ahead and gather up even more stuff and things. And I will BRBs, peeps. The forest is moving. All right, you guys. The forest is moving, and we've got all sorts of new armor and new stuff and things. You think you got what it takes, guys? You think you got what it takes? Dude, I got all the best gear now. You can't handle this. You know what I should have made is Stag Breaker. Ow, ow. Okay, a little bit low on the stamina. Hold up, hold up. All right, this is the thing. Just a little hit right there. How you feeling? You like that? You think that's good? How about this? You want to... Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. And you're dead. Okay, so that was easy. How about one of these right over here? That shaman. Oh, blocking it. Dude, meat shield for the shaman. Ow. Okay, dude, these guys, whereas last time they attacked us, were annihilating us. This is not as bad. This is nowhere near as bad. All right, where are you? The Okay, he's done. He's done. All right, so shaman's done. Oh, get blocked. Dude, I can, like, tank these kids. This is no problem. Oh, there's a lot more this time. Maybe it is a problem. Okay, uh, let's make sure we're eating. Let's make sure we're not being too callous with our stuff and things. Let's get a little bit of fire on these guys. Like that. And then he's probably going to try to heal. Oh, that was a swing and a miss. Let's make sure we get the shaman out of here. I think you got what it takes, bud. D-E-D -E -D dead. Two for one. And one to spare. All right. I think that that was it. I noticed they were attacking my wall. Uh, and I didn't even see that the forest was moving. I just saw that they were attacking the wall first. What was that? Oh, I think a boar or no, a deer. All right. So we got a bunch of gray dwarf eyes and all of that. That feels good, team. Let's go ahead and pop inside of here and go to repair. Now, I want to pop, uh, I got to pop inside of here because I'm pretty sure that the rain is causing my workbenches to degrade because they don't have roofs on them. So that's not necessarily super smart. I should probably put a roof on them, but it's rained a few times. I think I can just run over and just hit repair on these guys. It looks like most of these walls are looking pretty good. Let's pop over here. So right now, also, in case you're wondering what I'm working on, I've just been working on getting some more uh, copper because I've completely forgot to make the copper pick. We never made the pick. Uh, and it's probably going to be important for us to do that. Let's go ahead and repair those guys. And then up over here, I think we had one wall that got damaged somewhere. Dude, I'm sh pretty sure. I know he was attacking a wall over here. These all look really, really good. All right, that's no big whoop. Uh, let's just make sure we have these two guys uh, fixed up as well. So uh, you don't necessarily need to build roofs if you just remember every few days to come over and get some repairs on like that. Uh, but yeah, we never made the copper pick. Uh, we're still using two of the antler picks. And and they're working fine. It's not a problem. Uh, and the copper, or pardon me, the bronze pick. The bronze pick is 10 bronze. So that's going to be quite a bit of stuff and things. Let me see here. What do we got? Let me go ahead and put some coal in here. Like so, we'll have to clean out our inventory. We have six copper right now. That's three bronze. There's seven. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting our tin going like that. All right, you're good to go. And we got a lot of new stuff and things to put away over here. Heads? Dude, all the heads. New seeds. We got an ancient seed. Also started putting plants up over here like that. There's our resin. There's our stone. Uh, I said <coughs> stone. There's our wood. Uh, and then gray dwarf eyes right over here. And then this guy right over here under heads. That guy. What is that? Great Dwarf Shaman. All right. Sweet. Uh, so I added a banner over here. And then I added... I started moving some stuff and things around. Because comfort has like an area of effect. So I figured getting all of my comfort kind of in one area would boost it as high, like to the highest that it could go for, for what I built. Uh, and so we have eight comfort now. If we sit for 30 seconds... No, 60 seconds I think we have to sit. Or 30 seconds maybe. There it is. 15 minutes rested buff. So that's looking really, really good. 
Um, all right, all these things are going great. We just need a lot more copper. You guys, I had no idea how deep these copper deposits go. Look at this freaking mess I made. I mean, this was a copper deposit on the surface, just like that. Look how deep I am in some of these areas, man. This copper, these copper, uh, they're like ginormous boulders and they run deep into the ground. You can see there's another guy right here. I mean, I don't even know how deep we're gonna have to go or how much you would have to excavate in order to make this happen. I think I've got 18 copper on me right now. We're getting kind of heavy, but I just wanted to show you, I know some of you guys are following this and people may be moving a little faster than me. Uh, I'm kind of taking my time with this because I'm really enjoying it. Um, so I hope you like to stick around for the journey. But um, yeah, so these guys are very, very deep. I really wish, I, I do kind of feel like right now, this whole copper grind is a bit ridiculous. Like we are, we have been, I've been grinding copper for hours, <laughs> for hours and hours. I mean, we've definitely made some technological advancements. I'm just trying to dig a way out here. Um, oh yeah. So that's going to be a thing. All right. We can get up over here. Oh, we got bad hombres all around the area. You think you have what it takes? Joint. Oh, come on, man. Swing and miss. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, there's no way you guys can't get to me. You want to have some of this in your life? You think? Right here. Come here. Right there. There you are. Yeah, take that. All right. So anyway, the point being, yeah, this copper is big. A rainy day in the veil. Uh, I went out and grabbed a bunch of stuff. I just did a ton of gathering. We got leather for days. I got some more seeds. I got some more wood. I got all the things. Uh, we have a lot of more food because we're running a little bit low. So I went ahead and tried to get those guys going as well. We've got more resin. We've got more heads. Uh, and we got more gray dwarf eyes. And I've been gathering up some copper as well. Uh, this stage in my adventure in Valheim is involving a lot of copper gathering. That's pretty much what I've done today. Pretty much just gathered copper. That's what. That's pretty much it. Uh, but it's been cool. It's been fun. It's a very... Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. It's a very chill game. Like, it really does just kind of make you want to sit back and, and... I don't know. Even though I feel like maybe the progression's a little bit slow... You know, you just kind of want to sit back and do stuff. Like, it's just cool like that. All right, so we got 15 of these guys. 15 copper. I think we can do a lot of bronze crafting now. So let's go ahead and get all the bronze made that we can. So I think this is going to be 15 total bronze. All right, so there's 15 bronze right there. Now we're trying to make the pick. We need three core wood. Don't fail me now, storage. Uh, there it is right there. We don't need all that. I hear something outside too, which is weird. It feels, sounds like it's inside the base. Hello? Oh, it's a little bird. Hello, bird. You're beautiful. But you're made of arrows. All right, let's grab that guy. Oh, hello. Uh, and then let's go ahead and pop over in here. Now, I know some of you guys are probably going to tell me I should be using the cart. Oh, hello, bird. Um, oh man, I don't know if I can get him from underneath there. There we go. Um, but I just haven't felt like I needed to. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I used to use my buff of Ichthyr, and I just kind of run. Um, and I haven't really needed to do that. I think if I'd have maybe started off, or next time we do some gathering, maybe we'll, we will try to use the cart in the future. All right, so over inside of here, the bronze pickaxe. That's what we want. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. So why did we build it? Pierce 25 versus Pierce 18. Parry, force, knockback, backstab. This actually is a weapon that we can use. That's interesting. So let's pop over here to our tools chest and we'll go ahead and drop the... Is that right? Yeah, that guy right there. Let's go ahead and drop that guy in the tools chest. I think I'm still going to carry two picks for the time being. Uh, and then we have five more bronze here. And I think that what we want to do with that is make these nails. So we already have 10. There's 40. There's 60, and what I want to do is make the boat. Now, I don't even want to mess with the raft, but I'm going to need 80, and I only have 10, and we can only make them in increments of 20. So, there we go. There's 80 of those guys. Our running skill is 42. We can throw that guy inside of there. Those guys inside of there. We can drop this guy in there like that, and then we have our 80 nails. All right, so what else are we going to need in order to build this bad ombre? 30 fine wood. Oh, man, I can't believe I have it. That's awesome. Uh, 30 fine wood right there. And then I think it was 10 of the deer hide. Uh, 10 of these, of which we have a ton now. Those guys right there. Let me see. Where are we at? So 10 and 20 resin. Let's grab 20 of those. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are good to go. Now, we have to build this close to a workbench. 
and then maybe move it over. But it looks like we have, I mean, our little dock is right here. This will probably work for us, right? Like so and like so. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. We have a freaking boat. Awesome. Holy crap, man. All right, so we have a little itty bitty bit of storage. Let's see here. I wish it wasn't raining. It would be great if we could have a beautiful, amazing, sunny sail. Okay, it looks like it's going to be night. Maybe I sleep through the night, and then tomorrow it'll be nice and beautiful for our maiden voyage on our amazing new boat. Ah, what a beautiful day. Amazing. It isn't actually the next day. It's just about four minutes later. Ah, but anyway, let's pop onto here like so. We have a wind indicator under the mini-map on the left, uh, right side words. Let's go ahead and unfurl. Uh-oh, can we get out of here? Wait, no, are we landlocked? Is this a landlocked lake? You're kidding me. Dude, we are, we're landlocked. All right, so as we make our turns, it looks like obviously the wind angle changes. You know what? Maybe we could dig a channel. Do you guys think we could dig a channel to make it so that we could escape from this terrible, terrible prison? Uh, because the water, like, the, it's right there. It might take a little bit of doing in order to make it happen. But maybe we do build the channel. Also, it sounds like the, uh, it sounds like the music has changed. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're on a boat. All right, hold on. We're getting a little bit of weird lag. Uh, oh, oh, oh let's turn, let's turn. Let's head back to our base area place right here like so. Look at this, man. Straighten her out. We are on a boat. Vikings on a boat. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so very much for coming to hang out with me. I hope that you had a good time. If you did, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if you're new and you had a good time, hit subscribe. It's free. And uh, big shouts to everybody who helps to support the channel on patreon.com slash slipgator. I can't wait to boat more. You guys, thanks for watching. May the stuff and things be with you.